line there. They're down nine. Shadur Sanders, Michael Welch, flag is down. Welch did not get the first down. A hat is thrown. Well, it, it, it was a hold at the point of attack. And you may have a late hit. There are two fouls on the play. Through the run, holding offense number five. It'll be 10 yards from the previous spot. After the play, personal foul, defense, number 33. 30, correction, number 30. 15 yards, automatic first down. Oh my goodness. Yeah, the... That, that is the killer. First, you'll see the hold by Horn. I mean, this is, this is just not Colorado State's night. Watch 30, Chase Wilson. That's a late, late hit. Yeah, he was way out. It's very unnecessary. Knocked over a trainer on the sideline, hit him in the back with his helmet. That is not a small Colorado who has played with poise. You're right. Haven't really turned it over. Haven't had stupid penalties like that one. Well, they did have the celebration where four got flagged. That was more fun than stupid, I'd say. <laughs> Caught there by Will Shepard on the sideline. That's a really nice throw by Shadur Sanders. Got it up and over a defender and found Shepard on the sideline. 22 yards on the completion. I mean, those that is a great graphic. Three points allowed. They averaged 35 points per game allowed last year. Zero sacks. They allowed six last week. 81 rushing yards. There's a pretty good chance they'll go over 100, which they almost never do. Play action. Shepard again. And he dives looking for extra yardage for the Buffs. Second and four. Sanders again fires. End zone. Hunter caught it. Touchdown. 22 yards. If you can play like number 12 does, you can certainly do your dance. This is a beautiful throw by Sanders against that zone coverage in the corner of the end zone. They have found that spot in between the corner and the safety a lot tonight, and it has been all buffs since the first quarter. Hunter's position on the depth chart on offense and defense is not wide receiver and corner, it's athlete. Extra point up and good. All first half seemed to re-injure. He was nursing a, a groin injury. Return for just one play in the second half. Of course, Horton had 16 catches in the game last year. So Colorado State led the Mountain West Conference in passing yards and passing yards per game last year. So they have it in them to put up a lot of yards through the air, but they had that guy catching 96 passes for 1,100 yards and eight touchdowns receiving last year. I highly... Colorado State has actually moved the football in the second half. That's a difficult catch. Jamari Person with Preston Hodge on the coverage. Don't forget later in the game, it's the play of the game presented by Jersey Mike's sub. Colorado State going with the no huddle as they need to, up tempo, down four scores. Fowler Nicolosi. Out of bounds. Now, you talked about the, the yardage last year. The one thing they wanted to clean up this year was dating. And, and look, at, look at Colorado. They're still playing man-to-man -man with a single high safety. People don't do this in the fourth quarter when they're up by four scores. Low snap. Braden Nicolosi in trouble. Escapes. 
squares up, fires, nice throw there, caught by Goody. Goody wrestles his way out close to the first down. I think he's short by a yard. Bauer Nicolosi, here it comes again. Look, they get the two extra blockers right there. Yeah, Keegan Shank is number 90, is one of those blockers. And Morrow looks for a seam, and he finds the seam! And Henry Morrow to the 30! They will catch him and drop him at the three. And guess who caught him? Scheme. Everybody thought it would be to the right. Instead, he cut it back to the left. Watch Hunter's speed here, by the way. I mean, he's got him by five yards, and Hunter hawks him down in, what, 15, 20 yards? Tries to punch the ball out, but that was such a good scheme by the Rams and so well blocked. Marshall probably would have taken that into the for a touchdown. 62 yards, Hunter comes out for this snap. Ooh, Marshall. Oh goodness. How many times have we seen Nakai Hill Green lower the boom? Oh my goodness. I love Nakai Hill Green. The Pittsburgh native just expelled. Changing the play again. Last week it was to a run most of the time. Just gets the play off. And Marshall is in. Touchdown, Colorado State. Be a good time to use it because the Buffs do not have their hands team out there. Travis Hunter actually is on the hands team, by the way. And will be interesting to see if he comes out. Remember, they were looking at that right shoulder after the tackle. And right now, he's on the bench. Let's check in with... Looks like he'll be good to go. All right, thank you, Tiff. Little adjustment, maybe. Be interesting to see if they run it or throw it. They'll keep it on the ground. Let's watch that long play. Remember, he had to chase down Morrow, tried to strip, then draped across his back. Not really sure what could have happened there other than he landed hard on his left shoulder. See if we see him back in this game on either side of the ball. Second and eight. Sanders to throw on target there. It's caught by Terrell Timmons, the transfer from North Carolina State. Of course, Hunter's not in the game, so they throw the ball to their fifth. So has Sanders. And on target again, LaJunte Wester. Wester made the, the decision to come here despite knowing that Horn was here and Hunter was here and Shepard was here. And we asked him why. He said, I wanted NFL caliber in slow way, Rich. Letting the play clock down. They should not snap until there's less than five seconds left. There's no reason to. This is smart. This is good. Four-man rush. Sanders out of the flat. Micah Welch is hit by Owen Long. So... You know, Colorado has had at times some questionable clock management and decisions the last couple years, but even though they're still throwing it tonight, you see the numbers for Shador Sanders. The key, of course, being the four touchdowns, no interceptions. They're doing the right thing. He should take it inside the five. That was too early. Play action. Flag down, and he slides down. If you slide as a quarterback behind the line of scrimmage, is that a... Defensive lineman never really liked that one. Holding. Offense number 58. Penalties declined. Third down. Yeah, you, you don't want to take more time off the clock, so you're going to decline the penalty and get it to third down. Yeah, Zelenskis is from Denver. Got his first star poster up. One side said Buffs, the other side said Rams, and every kid had to write their name 
Whichever team lost, you had to do 10 push-ups on Monday. They're down, 13. Here comes the heat. Sanders throws deep. That is Horn. And he makes the catch. The official, there's a flag down. The official on the sideline ran into a photographer. Holding, offense number 54. 10 yard penalty. Replay third down. And it's all coming back. The right tackle. Let's see what happens. He's laid off the ball. Kirschke comes with the rip. Oh, that's not a hold. I, I, I don't like that holding call at all. It was a rip, and then he moved the ball. But watch Sanders deliver this football as he's getting smashed. He is a courageous guy in terms of stepping into throws while he's about to get hit. And that would have been a huge completion for the Buffs. And Deion Sanders does not like it. So another penalty further back, third and 23. And Colorado will keep it on the ground. And that's a nice game there. But I don't know. Why Colorado State's late getting guys off the field? It seems like one of them was talking trash to Shador Sanders. Probably not the best time for that. LeVon Brown is deep. And he's going to return it. Flag down. Return is to the 11. 5.51 left, 28-9, Colorado on top of Colorado State. A lot of penalties in this game. During the return, illegal block in the back, receiving team number one, half the distance to the goal, first down Colorado State, timeout on the field. It's the 19th penalty combined run here, helped to open up this stadium. There's the head coach at Colorado State. Pass over the middle is caught there by Vince Brown. Jim McElwain, of course, was the offensive coordinator in Alabama, head coach at Florida. He's the, the most defense number seven. Ten yard penalty added from the end of the run. Automatic first down. Oh, I'm sorry. Correction. Personal foul. Face mask. Defense. Fifteen yard penalty. Automatic first down. I thought, wow, did he hold him before that? Because it was definitely a face mask right there. He yanks it all the way around. Cameron Silva, Silman Craig, they say, is the heart and soul of the defense and the D coordinator. Seven of the penalties have resulted in a first down. Fowler Nicolosi. And it's broken up. It was person. And Carter Stoutmeyer getting his first start. We talked about it at the outset of the show. They trust them. Now, they're not going to let you beat them over the top. Scrambling. Nice job to keep the feet in by Dylan Goffney, the senior out of Cypress, Texas. Seven yards, but still short of the first down. Bring up a four-man rush. Crossing pattern broken up. That was Preston Hodge, flagged down. Hodge is the nickelback, so he's usually working against that slot receiver. Pass interference, defense number 24. The ball will be placed at the spot of the foul. It's an automatic first down. Let's take a look at it. Number 24, Hodge, right in the middle of your screen. It's an in-breaking route. Kind of hooked him a little bit there. You know, they were letting him play a little bit more earlier in the game. So I, I, I like when officials are consistent, but they elected to call that one. Tyler Nicolosi, that went right through the hands of Caleb Goody. Hodge was there on that coverage. They have nine points. They haven't been able to turn it in to enough points, getting five different penalties. Or five different first downs, I should say, by a penalty. Five receivers. Five minutes left. 28-9, Colorado. Tyler Nicolosi again scrambling. A little backhand shovel. 
Smart play by him. Don't get any loss of yardage and stop the clock. It's a yep. smart play. Very smart play by Fowler Nicolosi. Once you're outside that tackle box, as long as you get a pass line of scrimmage, you can do that. They got two downs to get 10 yards to have any life left in this game. They got pressure coming, quick throw, caught there, that's Goffney, trying to get to the sideline, he does. And knocked out of bounds by D.J. McKinney, not D.J. Fedora. <laughs> Just an in-breaking route from Goffney out of the slot. What I like about that, that is the run after catch. Colorado State needs to remain in a hurry and try to get the ball downfield a little bit more if they can. 22-yard gain. Fowler Nicolosi, flushed, looking, wants his receiver to come back. They don't, and he's out of bounds. Fine. Again, scrambling. This time he's dropped. Dayon Hayes gets the sack. Just Holf throwing the ball away. They run a stunt to both sides. Hayes Colorado just throws State. the right guard out of the way. All down the field at some point. Hayes Colorado just throws State. the third and eleven. In stride, hits his man. Caught there. And that's Dane Olson, his first time in the ball game, a 16-yard pickup. Three thirty clock moving. Fowler Nicolosi on the mark there. Bounce. Uh-oh. Another bad snap. And what looks like another turnover. B.J. Green has the football. And it's been that kind of night in Fort Collins. I don't know how this happens twice. That time, Fowler Nicolosi, number one, wasn't ready for it. Number two, it was at his ankle. That is a double whammy right there from Jacob Gardner. And Wow. Tanner's going to throw the ball. Fires it up the sideline, and it's incomplete. And there's flags down. Are you surprised they're throwing it? I am and I'm not. Rich, I, I am surprised because it's not what most teams would do in this situation. Pass interference, defense number one. 15 yard penalty and an automatic first down. So my question now, and they got Asisima covering Hunter one-on-one, -on -one. actually really good coverage till right then. Even that one, I wouldn't have mind. All sits at the 40. Sanders fires. Sideline, that's Travis Hunter with the catch. And Hunter's out to the 50. And we're approaching the two-minute timeout. Boom Jock made the stop. They're down in six. Going to throw it again. Sanders, fires, sideline. It's broken up. Asissima on the coverage. So what do you make of this? I, I don't know what to... I, I got to be honest with you. I think this has to be coming from Deion Sanders. Because I just can't imagine that this is what Pat Shermer would want to be doing in this situation. I mean, he's a three-time NFL head coach. I, I think Pat would just be taking a knee and winning the football game and not taking a chance that any offensive lineman gets hurt or that the quarterback gets hit again. Now they're going for it on fourth down. And Sanders in the pocket gets hit and it's incomplete. I mean, he just took another hit from a D tackle. This makes no sense. Next week, it's into the... Big 12. They are fortunate that this wasn't a bigger hit. This is a 305 pound defensive tackle going right near his throwing arm. Can you imagine what we would be saying all week if Shador Sanders got his throwing arm hit in a game where they're up okay. <laughs> <laughs> all week? Fowler Nicolosi to the sidelines, and that's Goffney with the catch clock stops. So of course now for both teams, it's into Colorado State.
They've got UTEP coming up and then a trip to Oregon State. Fowler Nicolosi goes down. Well, that's smart. For Colorado, they've won seven straight in this